According to Hadith 428 of Sahih al-Muslim, no, you cannot. Can a person raise his hands or make a gesture while saying Salaam at the end of Salah? According to Hadith 430 of Sahih al-Muslim, no, he cannot. How shall the rose be made in Salah? The shoulder and the foot must touch the next person, person standing by your side. What will happen to the Muslims if they don't make the rose of the salah properly? According to Hadith 432 of Sahih al-Muslim, their hearts will defer and there will be discord among them. Was the Prophet Muhammad able to see behind his back? According to Hadith 434 of Sahih al-Muslim, yes, he could see from behind his back. What will happen to those who intentionally lag behind in the back rows? Uh, this one, the, the recording finished, so I couldn't get the answer. I think who can answer that. Okay, Miss Who, do you know the answer? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum uh, According to Hadith 438 of Sahih al Muslim, Allah will put them back in religion and receiving Allah's mercy. Okay. Today we have the book Mishkat al Musabi, Hadith number 188. Read it. Mm -hmm. Miss Hoor. <clears throat> yes. Sayyiduna Hassan Razilatana has said, Never do a people innovate in their religion, but Allah removed from their sunnah a like um, amount, then it is not returned to them till the day of uh, resurrection. It is. It is about a. Um, okay, ab this completes. Ab ab so. Here we need to write the question. What happens when our Muslims? Innovate a new thing in Islam. What happened when what happened when our Muslims innovate a new thing? They start a new thing in Islam on the name of Islam. In the answer, you will write according to the Hadith 188 of Mishkatul Masabe. Allah remove as Sunnah from them. Whenever they innovate a new thing in Islam, I will repeat the answer according to Hadith 188 of Mishkat al Masabi. Allah removes a sunnah from them 
whenever they innovate a new thing in Islam. Repeat the question and the answer. What happens whenever Muslim innovate a new thing in Islam? According to Hadith 188 of Miskatul Maswabih, Allah removes a sunnah from them whenever they innovate a new thing in Islam. Can you give me an example of anything which was not at the time of Prophet Wasallam, but Muslim do it on the name of Islam? Miss Hoor, Miss Umme Ahmed, yes or no? Do you have any example for this? Like when they used to go to Hajj, the Taraweh was not in congregation, yeah. but now we are doing it in congregation. Okay, so we can. Hey, bidat, bidat ki baat ho rahi hai. <clears throat> yes, bidat ki baat ho rahi hai. So okay. this thing about uh, Talavi, most of the Muslim scholars uh, don't consider it uh, bidda. Why? Because Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam read it. I think two nights only. And some scholars consider it as a bidda because Prophet ﷺ prayed it only two nights. Then he never prayed. And then Umar started it. But Umar himself as well never prayed it in congregation. The best thing is to pray at night. So, okay. We can consider this one example. It is a not a necessary thing, okay? Any other example in your mind? Miss Ho, do you have any example? Yes or no? Like uh, before in the prophet time, there was Baytul Mal. The mm -hmm. one they used to help the poor and everything, but now we don't have that. Is it is it a good example? Or? I believe it still exists. Baytul Mal in almost every Islamic country, there is a Baytul Mal present. And they also help. Uh, some Muslims, poor Muslim, not all Muslim, of course, not possible. And mm, no, one thing which people do on the name of religion is a birthday party. Today we celebrate the birthday party of our children. Today we celebrate the birthday pro uh, party of our parents, our siblings, our spouse. Even we celebrate the birthday party of our Prophet So, but this concept of celebrating birthday, especially on the name of Islam, which we celebrate the birthday party of Prophet Muhammad was never done by Prophet and never done by his companions as well. It was actually a uh, Christian thing. Christians used to celebrate the birthday party of their, uh, pro their prophet Jesus, and when Muslims saw doing them, they also started doing it. So this is an example of innovating a new thing in Islam. Now read this one, Mr. Muhammad. 
189 Sayyiduna Ibrahim Ibn Maisar radiallahu an narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if anyone honors an innovator in religion, then he helps in pulling down a pillar of Islam. Yeah. So basically, if you see a person doing something which is on the name of Islam, but is against the Islamic Quran and Hadith, then we should not give any honor, any respect to that person. We should ignore him as much as possible. Or either we try to stop him. <coughs> so in this case, for example, if anyone invite you to celebrate the birthday party of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, never go there. Reject their invitation. Ms. Hoor, read the next one. Sayyiduna Ibn Abbas said, He who learns the book of Allah and follows whatever it says, Allah guides him away from error in this world and will preserve him on the day of resurrection from rigorous we reckoning and according to our version, he who emulates the book of Allah will not stray in this world or be miserable in the next them. Then he recited this verse. Then whoever follows my guidance, he shall not go astray, nor shall he be distressed. So in our world, we see there are many problems among the Muslims. They do many things on the name of Islam which have nothing to do with Islam. And this hadith tells us that whoever learns the book of Allah and follow whatever is in it, Allah guide him away from the error of this world, which means Allah will save him from the bad things which are done on the name of Islam. <clears throat> so what questions shall we write here? What about those who learn the book of Allah, which is basically Quran, and follow? So basically, what will happen to such people who learn the book of Allah? and then practice it in their daily life. In the answer you will write according to Hadith 190. Allah will guide them away from errors of this world. Or you can say innovations of this, of the people. The Lala. Allah will guide him away from the misleading things of the world. Better word is misleading from the Lala.
Allah will guide him away from the misleading of the world and Allah will save him from rigorous reckoning of resurrection. I will repeat the answer. According to Hadith 190 of Mishkat al Musabi, Allah will guide him away from the misleadings of the world and save him from rigorous reckoning of resurrection rigorous reckoning of resurrection Okay, I'm just going to repeat the question and the answer. Ms. Muhammad. What about those who learn the book of Allah, Quran, and follow it? According to Hadith 190, Allah will guide them away from the misleading of the world, and Allah will save him from rigorous reckoning of resurrection. Now read this one. Uh, 191, Sayyiduna ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu narrated that Allah's messenger said, Allah coins the parable of a straight path on two sides. which are walls that have opened doors on which curtains hang. At the head of the path is an inviter who says, walk straight on the path. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, um, the path it is the Quran and the inviter above it is the admonisher from Allah in the heart of every believer so basically this is a parable of our life Islam is the, the straight path which we need to follow. And doors are the haram thing which Islam has forbidden. And in this this also tells us that admonisher from Allah in the heart of every believer. So Allah has put an admonisher in our hearts which basically st stops us whenever we are going to do anything haram which he tries to stop us or he just tells us that this is a bad thing every time we are committing something bad. No need to write any question for this one. Miss Hood, next. Uh, I... 193 yes ibn Masoud Saud said if anyone seeks to emulate another then let him emulate one who has that for the living is not safe from trial uh, in religion they who are dead and worthy are the sahaba 
companions of Prophet of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, they were the most excellent of his ummah, purest of heart, perfect in knowledge, most modest. Allah chose them then as a companion of his Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and to establish his religion. So recognize their merit and follow in their footsteps and to the best of your ability to emulate their character and way of life because they were on the Okay. Miss Ummi Ahmad, can you give me a name of a person, maybe a famous scholar or anyone which you think is currently the best person in this era in terms of religion? Ms. Hoor or Ms. Umi? Uh, Mufti, Mufti Meng. Mufti Meng. So let's suppose you think <clears throat> that Mufti Meng is the most religious person in this era. Now the question is, can you follow his life as an example to live your life Do you understand the question? Yeah, like like what? Like the way he lives his life, daily life, uh, eating, drinking, swimming, or like sleeping, working. No, 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 no. no. <clears throat> so this this tells us that no matter how good is any person. We cannot emulate him. We cannot just follow his life. We can only follow the life of Prophet and his companion. So Mufti Menk is a great person. We respect him a lot and everything. But we cannot take him as an example. Maybe he is also committing some mistakes in his life. So only Prophet and his companions can be followed an example. Can you follow? Or emulate a great religious person in the bracket I will write this name e.g. Mufti Menk to live your daily yeah. life the answer is no The answer is no. According to Hadith 193. Or you can just write it directly because Sahaba narrated it directly. So in the answer you write no. We can only follow or emulate Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his companion. I will repeat the answer. No. We can only follow or emulate Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his companions to live our daily life.
Repeat the question and answer. Can follow or emulate a great religious person, Mufti Mank, to live on to live Prophet Sallallahu and his to live all daily life. I did not hear the answer. Can you repeat the answer? No, we cannot follow or emulate. Okay. Correct. Prophet Sallallahu and he is to uh, li live or daily life. Okay, now Hadis 194. Read this. Sayyidina Jabir narrated that Sayyidina Umar bin Khattab came to Allah's Messenger وسلم, with a copy of the Torah and said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, this is a copy of, a, of the Torah. But he said nothing. So Umar recited from it. The Prophet ﷺ face changed color because of this player. So Abu Bakr said, may, may the woman who, the, who lose, lose you, do you not look at the face of Allah's Messenger ﷺ? Umar uh, looked at the face of Allah's Messenger ﷺ and Exclaimed, claimed, I seek refuge in Allah from from, from Allah and anger. We are pleased with Allah as Lord, with Islam as a religion, and with and with Muhammad as a Prophet. Sallallahu Allah's Messenger Sallallahu said, "By him and who." And in the soul of Muhammad were Musa to, to come to you and you were to follow him and leave me. You would stray from the right path and were he a prophet who he would have followed me surely. So here we see that. Let me write the question for this one. So we basically believe in the holy books of other prophet like Bible, Torah, etc. But we cannot follow anything from them. We accept them as the holy books, but since now Quran and Sunnah is revealed, so whatever is mentioned in these books, it is abrogated. So we cannot follow any of the good thing which still exist in these holy books. <laughs> Can we follow Maybe sometime you read something which you feel that it is very good, but actually it is not good anymore. It is against the teaching of Islam. Can we follow any good thing from old religious holy books? Like Bible, Bible, Torah, etc. Can we follow any good thing from all religious holy books like Bible, Torah, etc.? According to Hadith <clears throat> 194. Of Mishkat al Masabi. No, we cannot.
according to Hanish, 194 of Mishkat al Musabi. No, we cannot. Repeat the question and the answer. Can we follow any good thing from old religious holy books like Bible, Torah, and many and etc. According to Hadith one nine four Mishkatul Misbah, no, we cannot. Okay, we will stop here. If any of you has any question, you can ask me. Um, I didn't get the answer of uh, the what will happen to those who intentionally lag behind in the back row. Allah will put them behind in religion and receiving Allah's mercy. So basically those are on the first row, they will receive more mercy of Allah as compared to those who are behind the back rows. I will repeat the answer. Allah will put them back in religion and receiving Allah's mercy. Any other questions?